ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Mars! Gia Gunn once said, I don't like messy queens. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, this must be what the female orgasm feels like. I'm so happy to be here. This is a first for me. This is my first time ever doing a drag competition. And this is actually my first time ever doing stand-up comedy. Now, disclaimer, on a serious note, I have absolutely no experience telling jokes, but everything is funnier when it's said by a man in a dress. Unfortunately, I do not have enough respect for myself to put a dress on, which is why I normally look like an angry slapper from outer space who landed on earth in your local charity shop. But I will do my very, very best. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so happy to see so many familiar, friendly, established faces. Give it up for Victoria. The marvelous Maraid, delicious, truly scrumptious, legendary Tina, Dr. Farron, my gynecologist. But seriously, I mean, the standard this year is actually so high, I feel like my own competitors are celebrities. Like, can we talk about Blue Hydrangea? Girl. <laughs> that girl's makeup could win this competition in its own right. Hi, Trudy. I bet you a euro, which is what, like, 15,000 sterling, cheers Brexit. That bitch puts concealer on her fucking arsehole. Pays attention to detail. So, as you might have noticed, I don't have my own UTV series yet, so I am not a worldwide phenomenon superstar yet. So, I'm kind of a spring chicken on the whole men dressed as women scene. So it's a bit apprehensive about coming here, you know. Victoria! Us drag queens have a reputation for being a little bit shady and me doing drag tends to rub people a little bit the wrong way. You know, what do you mean you're a drag queen who doesn't drink? A drag queen who doesn't glue down her eyebrows? Or wear pads? And honestly, the truth of the matter is, I have a lovely set of arse pads. There's just never enough negative space around my anus to slot the damn things in. 